Are you lying? Yeah, you see that 18 right there? <laughs> Absolutely. And you see that 7 right above it? That's what I like. <laughs> In many ways, that game's kind of reminiscent of some conference tournament games, high scoring, a lot of pitchers. How valuable is that to get that this, at the end of the season right before then? I was, I was stressed going into this one because our pitching staff is a little bit stressed. We needed this game to go kind of like it went, seven innings, and use some guys that uh, haven't pitched much and rest some guys that need rest because, uh, you know, the way this season is going with our staff, it's been stressful on a couple guys and fatigue sets in and soreness sets in and you got to try and manage it the best you can. So uh, we needed a game just like this. We didn't need them to score seven in one inning, but uh, we needed some guys to start swinging the bat offensively. It was good to see that and needed the guys who pitched to pitch. Randy, after the last weekend series, you said your team was kind of hunting home runs maybe a little bit, but then you come out and obviously hit a bunch in this one, but it seemed like different kinds of swings, really good contact swings that just went a long way. You know, this game was about practice yesterday. We had a great practice yesterday, kind of went back to some fundamental stuff uh, offensively that we kind of got away from. and and. Kudos to our players. They they committed to what we were trying to teach them in practice yesterday, and they carried it over into the game, which isn't all that easy to do. Uh, so, yeah, you know, it's you live and die by the homer, I guess, with this team. And we hit some this past weekend, and but we didn't pitch well enough to overcome it. Uh, but fortunately, we I don't know what we hit six today, six homers. Yeah. I'll, take that every day. That's when you guys come along and say, the Mountaineers are undefeated when they hit six homers in a game. <laughs> yeah, shocker. That's a key stuff. Yeah. You've obviously, kind of along that line, I mean, you've obviously seen a lot of home runs hit in this park, but have you ever seen the ball carry like it did tonight? You had one off the top of the scoreboard and one on the roof on your office out there? I think that was more of a function of the guys hitting them than the ball carrying because it wasn't windy. Yeah. You know, the, the look at the flags, the wind was blowing straight down, it looked like. So that's a joke. Uh, gotcha. But, yeah, it, it was guys that are good hitters with power hitting those balls, you know. So that was good to see J.J. get into one and Chumley get into one. That's, uh, that's encouraging. Well, I know one thing, we'll take the field Friday with confidence. It's nine straight at home now, I believe, and you haven't lost a home game since March. Have you been able to pinpoint any reasons for the success of this venue? I didn't know that. I don't care about that, and that means nothing going into Friday. But uh, that uh, that's that's not a testament to our team as much as it is to the crowds and the community and the state that's supporting us because I hear little comments out of our team saying how they love playing in front of packed houses at home, and we play better in front of packed houses. So we couldn't do that if it wasn't for the fans and the people in the community, so uh, asterisk on those last nine wins uh, to the atmosphere that this community has created here. Coach, for the basically the second year in a row, you're coming up on the last couple series, Big 12 series, and you guys are right there in the mix. Um, this one being at home, with the importance of the series coming up, will it be hard for you to block out at all that this will be the you know your last three home games coming up? Uh, you guys keep reminding me, and so does my wife. So uh, I, I don't. One thing I don't want this to be is about me. If it becomes about me, then that'll just be a huge distraction. I want it to be about the kids, and the fans, and the community, and just do what we do. When I'm, uh, when I've coached my last game, then I guess it can be about me because it doesn't affect this year's team anymore because uh, I won't be around. But as long as this team is playing and playing well and has a chance to do something, uh, it, it needs to be about them. Is this as much as you have had to juggle, find different combinations with the pitching staff and going into this last week in the postseason, is that going to be as much about matchups and determining who may be out there? Yeah, this has been a trick now. We don't. Actually, the rotation that we're going to have this weekend was the rotation we were going to start the season with had Derek Clark not got injured. So uh, Cooper, Clark, and Switalski was our original three. So 
that can be a positive, I guess. We thought going into the season that these were our three best guys that gave us a chance to win. So uh, that doesn't mean you're going to win. That means uh, that those guys are very capable. Uh, somebody needs to be a hero going down the stretch. You need this time of the year, you need heroes. You need heroes on offense. You need heroes on the mound. And usually it comes from somebody you're not expecting. And that that needs to be, uh, tell the guys all the time, why can't it be you? You know what, it could be anybody here. Everybody's capable. It's just the right people getting hot at the right time. Or just hit six home runs again. <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> We're undefeated when we do that. Coach, you said your pitching was stress, but to, to go with the decision to start Myers, just what have you seen from him lately? You know, he's he's developing, he's getting better. His, uh, his stuff, as we like to call it, is major league caliber stuff. He throws, you know, first inning, there were several 96s on the scoreboard, and the curveballs, uh, if you're into spin rates and all that, it, it's spinning faster than a lot of major league curveballs. So if we could get him going, you know, in the postseason and conference tournaments, sometimes you need four and five starters, and it's nice to know that he's capable of being one of those guys. So uh, he, he's going to be, he's on track to be a superstar before he leaves here. Do you feel like you need a sweep this week to have a shot? Or, or do you even look at, I mean? I, I feel like we need to get Kansas State out in the first inning on Friday. That's what we think about. If you start thinking about what happens down the road, then you lose the first inning. You got to think about each moment as it comes, and we're not going to look ahead to that. I mean, it kind of is what it is. Kids get on social media and all these websites, and everybody asks them questions, so they know where we are. Uh, I don't know. I think our RPI is still in the top 40, and the right. six games we have left are all against teams uh, that are ahead of us in the RPI. So if we win a couple games, we'll move up. You, you never know what can happen, but. You can't ignore it, but you can't focus on it either. Six games, so you guys are forgetting about the midweek for next week? or Six next as week. we stand here today. So no decisions have been made on that yet. Do you get the